We're going to dig into the data today like you've never seen. You're going to have experts separate for th at least four or five hours. All right, today's Revenge of the Nerds. All right, <laughs> This is where we get to come in and start talking a lot about some details. I know a lot of people have been looking for that. Okay, so what we're going to do then is let's figure this out together because there's going to be so much happening. Whoa, I got loud all of a sudden. Okay, maybe we should sing together. Row, 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 row. <laughs> that would be fun. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Land. Stand beside her. God bless America. My home sweet. Ron, go ahead. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. <laughs> testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I think it worked. Let us work the technical details. Wrong. All right. So, so we're good to go? All right. All right, uh, greetings. I'm Ron Watkins. He's there as just quiet. Uh, Code Monkey Z. Okay, Ron, go ahead. That's Mark. Uh, the spider. Okay, okay. Uh, greetings. I'm Ron Watkins, also known online as Code Monkey Z. Gotta refer to that properly. Uh, recently, a pair of publicly available files Got were it. brought to my attention. These files are allegedly forensic images of the Mesa County, Colorado. Dominion election management system. Wait a minute, before he starts, I think he's still too weak of his, does he need to be louder? Uh, we the need the volume up on Code Monkey, please, on Ron. System is where votes are stored, tallied, and prepared into a final- Here, Ron, hold on. Yep. Turn your speakers off. My speaker, I'm using headphones. All right, greetings. My name is Ron Watkins. I think it's still too weak. Don't you think it's still too weak? Code online. It's good? And That's good. recently, a pair of... Uh, when you say an image of a computer, it, you it's, mean... It's a complete... Right, so the issue is I, I can't hear what you guys are saying. <laughs> what did he say? He right. That's okay. We're explaining what you just explained, Ron, to them. So just wait a minute. Okay, Ron. <laughs> Can we uh, yeah. turn the laptop on? Okay. Okay. So, so an image of a computer is basically a full copy of the hard drive. Everything on it, all the programs, all the data, everything. All right, so let's see if we're in sync here. Are, are we looking at the, the file directory right now? Is that on the screen? Uh, you, you guys are going to have to give me some feedback. I'm not hearing anything. Mark, could you un unmute? Okay, hang on. Oh, yeah. Yes, Ron. Yes, Ron. This is the uh, yeah. this is the first, the first image, image, the before. The before is, that right? is that right? Okay, it's a before image. And he noted, by the way, that he found files dating back to 2019 in the first image. Yes. I have no idea. I thought I heard him say that, but that's okay. Go ahead. Okay, let's that's go through important. it, Ron. Look through the file system and see what what is in there. Uh, I'm not hearing anything you guys are saying. Here, Ron, let's do this. Um, they're, they're working the link. So that's the intent. Uh, I know several of the legislators yeah. ask. Well, so the issue here is I'm not hearing what you guys are saying at all. Ask what can we take back to our states, what can we take back to our secretaries of states to say, this is what we need to look at. I have a question. There are, I think it's title 42, Where? USC section 1974 through 1974 echo. And I'm sure somebody's, if somebody. I don't know the answer. Uh, one of my problems, well, I should just didn't say problem. I um, was modeling COVID all last year and I had a scientific control where I said, starting from February on, I wasn't gonna watch any news or read any media. So I'm like in the dark on a lot of this. I didn't even know about the insurrection until February. Okay. Deal. All right. 
So uh, let's see if yeah, we get cool. Ron's let's, audio. Let's, it's not. It's not a. It's not an, a forensic uh, analysis. It's not a forensic audit. This is just a discussion based on the data, which uh, we're, we're about to. Look. Is video feed issues. Okay. Yeah, it's quite coincidental that the video feed breaks and the live streaming platforms break as soon as we start talking about this. It's like a boot ROM or a, a, a batch file. That looks like event logs. Are there any, uh, any Windows cyber guys out there that know about event logs? Yes. Okay, so where are those event logs normally stored? System 32, so let's go into a Windows System 32 folder. Wait a minute, Mark, this is a Windows system? All right, if you're just now joining us, we are live in Sioux Falls, South Dakota for Mike Lindell's Cyber Symposium. Uh, we're in the middle of a transitional period now. They're trying to get some of the technical things uh, arranged here on stage so that we'd have some cyber experts uh, video chat in with the cyber experts here and go over some of the analysis that they'll have on the screen here momentarily. So as they're getting that worked out. So what we're going to do is we're going to look between the left and the right, the same folder. And I'm curious, what is in that logs folder? Boom, 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 above OFM. So I, I'd really like, like to find the, the location of, of those SOAP files. Does anybody here know where to find the SOAP files? Does anybody know where to find the SOAP files? Yes, earlier you asked uh, for people who had direct experience working with some of these companies. I'm gonna claim to be the earliest. In 1985, when I was teaching a computer science course, I'm the guy who led my students in looking at the totally paperless computerized voting booths that were coming out. That's why I'm the man who started the paper trail movement. Uh oh, I'm sorry if I'm making somebody mad at me. Okay, but in any case, yeah, the scanners yeah. are thousands of dollars. Yeah, right. Hold on, we got uh, someone hello, else talking. Hello, we, we have a problem. We have a problem here. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, we yeah. can hear you. Are we doing okay? Yeah, can we yeah, bring we, the volume we, down we a little bit so Ron can talk? Every, everybody, we love yeah, it that we, you're we talking, but just take your volume down a little bit right now, please. Thank you. Uh, we have a problem. Uh, it's just, uh, my, lawyer, my lawyer just called me Ty Clevenger, Mr. Ty Clevenger. And he said uh, that I should put out this statement. And I just learned that Conan James Hayes may have taken without authorization the actual hard drives from the Mesa County, or the Mesa, Colorado County Clerk. And he needs to produce those hard drives immediately and return them to the clerk. And we should stop this data review until he produces the hard drives. Repeat that. Wait, Ron, Ron, did you just say? Everybody, this is important. Quiet, quiet. Yeah, this is really important, it's guys. It's important, it's important. Everybody quiet. Ron, did you just say that someone took all of the hard drives from Mesa County office just now? Uh, so what I said was, I just learned that Conan James Hayes may have taken without authorization, the actual hard drives from the Mesa, Colorado County clerk. And he needs to produce those hard drives immediately and return them to the clerk. No. No, and we should not stop this data review. Hold on, until no. This is Toby from, from Mesa. He knows. No, that did not happen. Tina no, just said that did not happen. physical hard drives. Hold on. No, Tina, Tina says no, that did not happen. Okay. Ron, she you, you may no. have heard that incorrectly then. Thanks. Uh, okay. How, how about, can, can Tina explain this then? Because I just got a call from my lawyer who said he talked to Tina, Tina to... Tell me that. Can we get Tina? So, no, I'm confused. Hey, Beth, can you have Tina call her lawyer? It's my yeah. office. Let me just put it that way. Uh, How do you know you're not there? Well, now they came in and did a, uh, a raid of my office, so it could have been. Maybe that's what this report is, that the, when they went in and raided you, they took it then. Okay. Well, then what we need to do is we need to do another backup, and we need to find out what they did when they were there yesterday. I didn't mean to argue against you. I'm, not, I'm just trying to understand you. Yeah. So what, what do you, could you say again what you just told us and what it really means? I didn't understand. Okay. 
Yeah. There was there was not nothing, no hard drives that belong to our equipment that were taken off the premises uh, from our election voting equipment. Unless it happened during the raid. And, that, and, and they did not allow anyone to be in there. There were no bipartisan judges that were allowed to be in my election department yesterday. There was not my chief deputy, who is the acting clerk in my absence. No one was allowed to be in there with them Somebody's when they were there yesterday. Uh, so, is there anything else you want to say to us? Because we are not allowed legally to let you answer Q and A right now. <laughs> okay. I just got the notice. All right. Anything else you want to say? No, I just I think America. Besides the fact that you're. So you said there's another image coming out. I'm sorry. What was that? You said there's another image that's about to come out. Oh. Where? Isn't that what Phil just said? That they're pre preparing another image to bring out. Oh, okay. I had no idea. I, I, I don't I don't know. I think I just heard Phil say that, though. He said something about another image. I, I haven't heard anything about another image. Where are you hearing this? Bring up a panel discussion. The person who was just talking said it, unless I'm oh, going crazy. Oh, Dr. Frank did. Okay, thanks. Sorry. <laughs> All set? That's interesting. Okay. Sorry, I'm not seeing video of the stage, so I don't, I don't know what, what's on there. I think so. Ron, we're gonna, we're gonna do a wrap up, and uh, then we gotta okay. get uh, Seth Cashel, so uh, appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. I think uh, we, we, uh, we found some interesting, interesting things on this. Perfect. Thank you, good job. Yeah. But you kept running and I couldn't tell You're on mic. Thanks, Ron. Yeah, yeah, thanks okay. for having me. Yeah, Ron, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Have a good day.